Hi friends, I welcome you all to this channel. This is our first video. Uh, these are the two books, Elements of Genetics and Fundamentals of Genetics. Elements of Genetics by Pundan Singh and Fundamentals of Genetics by B.D. Singh. These two books are mandatory and important for uh, JRF plant science as well as UPSC agriculture optional. In JRF plant science, major questions are covered from genetics. And UPSC paper 2 also, major questions are uh, coming from genetics. And any competitive exams you write also, major portion is covered from genetics and many questions will be asked from genetics. That's why I started genetics as a first subject today. Let's go, go for an introduction today. First, what is mean by genetics? If you ask any science graduate, they will say it's a combination of heredity and variation. Yes, it's a combination of heredity and variation. And introduction about genetics means the term genetics was coined by William Batson in 1905. It's a very important fact. And the word genetics was derived from a Greek word gen to become or to grow into. Coming to the simple definition of genetics, the biological science which deals with the principles of heredity and variation. See, I am not going to uh, say everything what is in book. I am going to say which is important, which you have to keep in your mind very in a very crisp manner. Then heredity means it is a process which brings about biological similarities between parents and progeny. It is a definition. Yes, heredity means what? The similar characters we are having uh, from our parents, both uh, mentally, biologically, physically, etc. That some characters are transmitted from parents to offspring. That process, the transmission is called inheritance. Okay. Actually, we all know that uh, because of variation only, we are identifying the differences among the person. That is, in environmental variation is temporary and, then in, and it will not be transmitted to next generation. It is very important. And fault of genetics is Griher Johann Mendel. Actually, after his death only, his findings were uh, recognized and uh, everyone agreed it is true. He is an Austrian botanist. He worked with garden pea, Pisum sativum, which is a highly self-pollinated crop. He formulated two laws, that is, law of segregation and law of independent assessment. He called genes as factors and Mendel's uh, proceedings were published in Natural History Society of Bern. He presented a paper entitled Experiments in Plant Hybridization. Mendel's work came into light after 16 years of his death. That is very important. Then uh, who rediscovered Mendel's findings means these three scientists, Hubdivarius, Kohns and Thesemark. These are the pre-Mendelian theories. Uh, in later we will I will make separate video for these uh, theories just you know the scientist they will ask the scientist's name uh, in exams it's very important magnetic power theory William Harvey preformation theory Swamadam and Bonnet theory of epigenesis is Wolf why I highlighted this means it is a only universally accepted pre mendelian theory that is theory of epigenesis next theory of acquired character by Lamarck theory of pangenesis by Charles Darwin and theory of evolution is also by Charles Darwin. In germplasm theory, August Weismann. We all know that cell was discovered by Robert Hooke. Robert Hooke discovered how he discovered cell wings by examining this thin section of cork. Then the cells appear like uh, they never appear empty. They are actually filled with cytoplasm. Cell theory, which is important here. Why first I started with cell means? First, we are, uh, these all things comes under cytogenetics. Cytogenetics means cytology plus genetics. There are several branches in uh, genetics. Now we are seeing cytogenetics. Cell theory was proposed by Sclenon and Swan. Sclenon is a botanist and Swan is a zoologist. All organisms are made up of one or more cells. What this theory see, uh, says means all organisms are made up of one or more cells. Uh, there is a new cell arises from the pre-existing cell. Pre cell. That means already existing cells. It uh, arises. That is a cell division. They say these two uh, lines are very important. Physical basis of heredity. That is chromosomal theory of inheritance. Actually, this theory was proposed by uh, Bovary and Sutton. It, this is also very importantly asked question. What this theory says means chromosomes contain genes. That is, genes are present in chromosomes. It's very important. See the definition. 
chromosomes contain genes and their behavior during meiosis is a physical basis of mendelian laws of heredity i will uh, study about meiosis later next some important discoveries alone i am giving here later while studying each each topic i will say discovery separately 1903 johnson proposed pure line theory and 1905 batson named the science genetics 1906 Johnson coined the term gene genotype and phenotype don't confuse with the question who coined the term genetics and who coined the term gene gene is coined by Johnson next strasburger discovered the term chromosome baldeyer introduced the term chromosome see the difference introduced and discovered there are lot of differences is there and hooked the virus introduced the term mutation he is actually father of mutation then uli put forth the concept of multiple factor hypothesis and nelson la provided experimental evidence for multiple factor hypothesis about multiple factor hypothesis mutation chromosome everything we will study later just i am giving who discovered this in 1910 th morgan established sex linked inheritance which means white i by saying white tie in a drosophila and he, all, he only coined the term crossing over In 1922, C.B. Bridges put forward the gene genetic balance theory of sex determination. 1925, D.H. Morgan published the theory of gene. 1944, Avery McCaldy and McCall and McCaldy established DNA as a genetic material. This very very important question, frequently asked questions. Next, some Nobel prizes. Uh, the scientists who got Nobel prizes for their discoveries in 1941. one gene one enzyme concept established by beetle and tatum by working in neurospora and they got nobel prize in 1958 1950 mc clinton's first paper on transposable elements in maize it's very very frequently asked the jr of plant science question next 1952 in 1952 hesse and charles experimental proof of dna's genetic material material in t2 bacteriophage and they got nobel prize in 1969 and in 1953 watson and greek worked out on double helix structure of dna and they got nobel prize in 1962 1961 jacob and monod nobel prize in 1965 uh, proposed the operon concept for regulating gene expression these are the important discoveries sure uh two to three questions will be asked in jr of plant science from these facts and on the any competitive exam also they will ask this history so please go through this and for the pdf uh, link is in uh, telegram link is in description box so click it and join the group you will get a pdf